Hi, in today's video we will see how to process the latest file from each directory and this is one of the frequently asked interview questions like how to fetch the latest file from each directory so here are the steps uh, but before that we will see what the data set for today's demo so I am having three folders in folder 1 I am having two files and in folder 2 I am having three files and in folder 3 I am having five files and from each folder we need to pick only the latest file now if you see in folder 1 the latest file is file 1 to get the latest file we can use the date modified time so whenever you update a file uh, the date modified time will get updated so when you sort by descending order it will show the latest file it will give you the latest file so in folder 1 the latest file is file 1 and in folder 2 the latest file is file 2 similarly in folder 3 the latest file is a file 3 so now when we run the job only the latest data whatever data we have in the file 1 should get processed and it should get loaded to the database or the output to do that we will see like what are the steps in talent like how do we achieve that the first step is get the list of directories from file list so first what we do right so here we have three files I mean three folders or I mean it depends upon the folders so first get the folders list like folder 1 folder 2 folder 3 list all the folders then for each directory list all the files first what to do right get the folder 1 get the list of directories then from folder 1 list all the files in folder 1 you are listing the listing two files again from folder 2 you are listing three files and again in folder 3 you are listing 3 files and then assign numbers for each file in that folder so what we do right we need to assign a sequence number so when you assign sequence number and the sequence number should be for each directory in folder 1 when you assign the sequence number based on the date modified time this will be your file 1 and this will be your file 2 uh, similarly in folder 2 when you assign sequence number this will be like file 2 will be of sequence number 1 sequence number 2 and sequence number 3 similarly for folder 3 when you assign sequence numbers based on the date modified time this will be the sequence number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, uh, fetch the latest file, sequence number 1. So, what happens? You are preparing the list and you are storing that output in a different file. So, from that file, pick only the, sequ with the sequence number which has the latest number, like which is 1. Then read that file name and process to the output. So, now let's see how it works in talent. So, this is the talent job design. So, I will just explain in high level, then we will go and deep. In the page, I am opening the DB connection and I am deleting all the metadata files. Then, this is step 1 list all the files. The second step is for each folder, iterate the files and create the file with assigning sequence number. From here, get the latest file with the sequence number as 1. Then, here we are processing the data. Then, in the post, I am closing the connection. Now, I will run the job and I will show you the output like how it works. So, in the T file list, read all the directories here my directory is uh, youtube just give the directory name and the file mask is folder i need to read all the folder names where it starts with folder just give st folder comma star so when you give star it will read all the three folders then from there you can connect to the uh, tjoflex component because it accepts iterate component so you just use the tjoflex but there is no operation just for the data propagation we are using that and also to get the sequence number we use the flow I'll, I'll come to the sequence part later now iterate each file so in the first iteration you will get the folder 1 here you are using the directory name this is a global variable in the first iteration this will be folder 1 and in the second iteration it will be folder 2 so what happens from the first iteration take the folder 1 then list all the files ending with file name file mask here your giving the modified time order by modified time and order back in is descending from here we have the t file properties then in the t map you are getting the absolute path of the file name so the absolute path is this one for each file for each file you are getting the absolute path so it will be youtube folder 1 and file 1 then you are assigning sequence number for each file then you are storing that output to the all files dot text so I'll just disable the job and I'll show you like how the output comes till here. Okay, the job is completed. Now let's see the output. See all file. So what happens? In folder 1, you have two files, and for the first file, you got the sequence number as 1, and for second file, it is 2. 
similarly for in folder 2 we had 3 files and the file 2 got the sequence number as 1 and in third folder we had 5 files and out of that 5 files, file 3 is the latest file so from here what we need to do is only we need to pick the first file the, which has sequence number as 1 so this is the latest file I uh, will show you how in the debug mode how it works job is running in the debug mode so this will help you to give better clarity like how it works see in the first iteration we have folder 1 it will take the first folder and for the first folder it will iterate all the files so if you see here folder 1.txt here the file path iteration first execution and in the second execution it will iterate the second file to execution and for each file it will keep on processing so this is a debug mode now we got the file name all file in all file we have the list with the sequence number then what we do right so from that we will read this file whatever file we stored we created in the previous step like all file we will read that file using the tfile input delimited so from that we are filtering only the first record which had sequence number as 1 we row 3 so in this file you have the sequence number and the file path for which where the file are stored this is sequence number and the file path so we are getting only the latest file with sequence number as 1 and that file you are storing in the latest underscore file dot text also till this step also, I mean, I will disable this job we will run only till the previous step where we are preparing the files the all file has 10 rows and from there you are applying the sequence number and fetching the latest file so it's 3 records here so in, late, in latest file you have only 3 records from folder 1 file 1 and folder 2 file 2 and folder 3 file 3 and if you see in all file you have all the records but in latest file you will only see the file which should be processed the next step would, the next step should be uh, read the latest file and process the data So what happens here, you are reading this latest file, then each file's file name you are storing in the tflow component, then that file path is passed to the file name. So how it happens is the tfile iterate will read all these three rows, it will keep it in the memory, it will pass the first row as a file name to the tfile input delimited component, it will process the data and it will save it in the database and in the second iteration it reads the second file and processes and third file as it is now let's see in the database we have the latest file we will see if we have any data or not ok so there are no data now before running the job we will see what all data we have in the file level in folder 1 for the file 1 I am having file 1 and some data some random number like 1 2 3 and in folder 2 having the data as file 2 and 4 5 6 and in folder 3 I am having uh, file ms3 and 789 so when we run the complete job in the database we should get 3 records in the Oracle table Okay, the job is completed. Now let's see the data in the output table. So you can three, you can see three rows from file one, one to three, and file two and file three. I just uh, repeat the steps again. And I mean, you have to fetch the latest file first. Get the list of directories from the T file list component. This is step one and for each directory list all the files again using the tfile list component for each directory list all the files and get the file names and assign a sequence number to each file and this is very important assign sequence number for each directory and the third step is get the latest file 
by applying a filter so here you generate the sequence number and from that sequence number you get the latest file and in the fourth step you'll have the file name which had the latest sequence number from that you process each file and load the file if you want to copy the file name since like my target is the oracle database so we use the db output if you want to copy the latest file to some other directory you can use the on sub job of okay you can use the t file copy so from that location you will move to the target location whichever we want thank you